the United Nations is training our governing bodies to accept this way of life and to go back into their countries and effect these changes. One nation, Jamaica, to be specific, recently issued some new banknotes that comprised of six denominations. First, there were five banknotes, but now they have created the new $2,000 note, which made sure that it's no longer five, but six. Now, you know very well that the occult loves the use of the number six. I know it sounds like I'm reaching, but if that's the case, then why do the six new banknotes represent the colors in the rainbow, the same rainbow that the LGBTQ minus use as their symbol for sexual perversion? And if I'm still reaching, then why did the government of Jamaica chose the sixth month to release these notes? The same month, the LGBTQ community celebrate their pride agenda. Why? Jamaica, wake up. Did God intend for man to be with man? Let's go back to what he said. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. For those of us who are still confused, a man and a man, nor a woman and a woman, could not multiply back then. And they still can today. That's a fact. A big part of the reason God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah was because of the sexual immorality that was taking place. In Genesis 19 verse 5, it says, If a man came into the city, the men of the city would desire to lay with them. Go read your Bibles. Leviticus 18 verse 22 says, Mankind shall not lie as with womankind, for this is an abomination unto a holy God. The Bible says you are to obey the rules and regulations of the government you live under and honor the rulers set over you unless it conflicts with the Bible. In that case, you must honor God and not man. This is not a message for people who don't desire the Lord. You can do what you want. That's your choice. And no, I'm not forcing Christianity on you either. These are for those who are trapped in Gadom because I have heard gay people say that they are Christians but they have no desire to change that lifestyle or to ask for forgiveness or repentance. If you are saying this and believing that you are hearing from God and that your walk with him is fine, then you are living in deception. And your first step of coming out is to hear and agree with the word of God. A former megachurch pastor turned spiritual advisor to Oprah Winfrey said that the culture is ready to embrace homosexuality and same-sex marriage. And if the church hopes to stay relevant, it must accept those relationships and stop looking to the Bible as its best defense. First of all, I rebuke that statement and everything attached to it in Jesus' name. Yes. We're all fighting against the flesh in this world. And without the Holy Spirit, it's a losing battle. But there are people who have successfully forsaken the gay lifestyle. And if you are one of those struggling with that today, you can too. Your second step is to come to Jesus just the way you are. You don't even have to try to change anything first. He will change you. I rebuke and bind the spirit of homosexuality and deception off of everyone watching this video. I command you to flee in the abyss and never return in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Peace, joy, and healing be your portion in Jesus' name. Next time, here. Yeah?